So today's update is testing of the um, lithium BMS boards. I've been sent a selection of these now from various people who've had the um, lithium board voltage sensor failure. Uh, and the only way you can actually test these I've discovered is actually in a complete uh, pack. They all have to be connected up and you have to have high voltage from the pack going into the um, battery control module and obviously the CAN signals etc so you have to basically have a pack on the bench and then take them out one at a time and replace them with suspected faulty units and see what the HDS then uh, says about them. So I was sent um, two suspected faulty A boards and a suspected faulty D board. Now the D board system set up we know was a, likely a misidentification of the um, of the failed board and that is correct the D board was actually okay but it was the A board which had failed uh, so we basically ended up with two failed A boards and these are confirmed bad I've tested both of these this morning they both give a clear fault indication and looking at the voltages that the HDS is showing us as well some of the sensors are clearly off and uh, one of them is not working uh, properly on four of the cells in one of these so these are both bad a board so we've established that and they were misidentified originally as failed d boards so what we have now then is i have a complete good set of boards here i have a good set of boards on my test uh, rig and my test lithium pack and then i have two sets of boards here where i am missing an a board because that is the one that's been used in the uh, failed cars in the failed packs now you remember from my earlier work that it is possible to reconfigure these boards uh, for an A to become a C or a C to become an A and a B to become a D or a D to become a B by moving some resistors around on the circuit board. So I've actually happened to have a spare C board. So this potentially could become an A. So what I'm going to do to test this theory finally is I'm going to try and modify this board by moving the resistors around. They're on the back here somewhere. I can't remember exactly. I'll have to look at my notes. Uh, so I'm going to move the resistors around. I'll test it first just without actually plugging it in to the live pack to see if it is sending out the right CAN ID because it should be, uh, if it's a, an A board, it should be sending out a CAN ID of 204 and at the moment it sends out 202 so we'll reconfigure it to send out 204 and it should be the same connections as the c board now you remember these boards are not identical um, they're in pairs and if you plug the wrong connector into the wrong board you will get magic smoke so they're not all interchangeable you can only interchange a with c and D with B, if I remember correctly, but I'll have to check my notes on that. So that's where we are. So I'm going to try and reconfigure this board to be an A board and we'll plug it in and see what's uh, been happening. So, yes, it's been a productive morning, um, but it takes quite a long time because you have to reset the HDS between each read. It only reads it sort of like on the ignition on. Uh, and after that, it won't update. Uh, but we've got there and we've now confirmed that those two boards were bad and... Uh, I'm going to try and make another set of boards with this spare C board.